Um, I believe they paid this money because it was only going to get worse for them if they went through a trial, that having their anchors up on the stand may have destroyed that brand if lawyers could have done what doesn't happen on TV, which is where every answer you get is methodically uh, set against the reality, what you've said other times, uh, what you did. And I think it was worth $787 million to Fox not to go through with the trial because it would have been even worse for them. What does that say about what Fox has become? Well, I see it differently. No surprise to everybody in the universe. Number one, um, if you look at the television ratings last night, Fox News did not cover the story, yet it got mm -hmm. its audience. They don't want to see mm -hmm. the story. They don't want to hear the story. They don't care about the story. They're going to watch Fox News no matter what. So that takes the threat of exposure in a trial, court of law, off the table because the Fox News audience is going to watch Fox News no matter what happens in the trial. That's number But then why'd they pay it? Number two, the settlement... Uh, that's number two, Cuomo. Can you just calm down a minute? Let me get to number two. I'm okay. sorry. That's I'm number sorry. two. I'm very nervous. Okay. Go ahead. Number two, once Ruda, Rupert Murdoch was compelled to testify in a court of law, everyone knew on the inside this was going to be settled. Okay. He did not want to go in there. It was a personal thing. He runs that company. What he says goes. He told his lawyers, settle it. Try to get the best deal you can get. And that's why it was settled. It had nothing to do with primetime talent. It had nothing to do with vision of what the image of Fox News is. He didn't want to go, so they settled it. They got the money. I think he didn't want to go because he was going to get beaten coming up. up. Yeah, they have, they have more of these suits coming up. But I understand. I understand. He doesn't uh, want but he's, he's still running the company. He's a privileged man. Right. He's a privileged man, privileged people do not want to be in contentious situations. You know that. So well, he made I mean, the look, decision. Your reputation. He, it, he can understand. certainly make it. He's in charge of it. And that's the decision that he made. Now, going forward, this has wide implications for the country that the country doesn't even know about. Number, the, number three point I want to make is there's another lawsuit, Smartmatic. Mm -hmm. Smartmatic. This is going yep. nowhere. Yeah. Smartmatic only had one county in a 2020 election, L.A. County. That's it. Their machines were very, very limited. Smartmatic has seven employees in America, and they are in Boca Raton, Florida. You didn't know any of this, but because I'm still, me, I know it. I They're know. still going to get paid. They're still getting paid. No, they'll get paid, but very, very little. The big threat is the shareholders, the people mm -hmm. who bought Fox stock and now are looking at an enormous amount of money, resources, coming out of that company, which damages mm -hmm. their shares. You're going to see that rise, but it won't involve Rupert Burdock. He's not going to get pulled in again. All right? They'll fight the suits, but the distraction is going to influence the 2024 presidential election. And that is the big story here. Donald Trump cannot count on... Fox News' support, as he could in 16 and 20. That's a powerful, powerful venue to lose because Murdoch mm -hmm. doesn't want Trump to be president again. It's as simple as that. And well, again, Rupert Murdoch runs the company. What he says goes. So Trump loses that platform. And that's huge. There's no question that it's big, but I think the reason he, what he loses is Fox's appetite uh, for saying things that they know are demonstrably false and doing it anyway because it's good for okay, an audience well, that just wants Cuomo, the confirmation. With all, with all Look, due I'll give you the last word. With all due respect. Yes, good, you should. Two words, Russian collusion. Yeah. Your prior network and NBC News pushed that for two years. It was a bunch well, of bull. It's not even close Everybody to comparable. Everybody in the business knew it. It's not even close to comparable. You I had the disagree. intelligence apparatus I of the U.S. government giving us information, not Sidney Powell and a bunch of clowns, okay? And Listen, we were doing the reporting as it came out all along with Mueller. It's not even close to comparable. Both situations. But I, I give you the last word on it. Yeah, both situations reflect very poorly on American media, which isn't in the business of covering the news anymore. It's in the business of an advancing an agenda, complement to News Nation. 
Not one journalist said anything positive about Fox News in the whole coverage last night. We, we went down, everybody. But News Nation was the most fair, okay? So, you guys, you handle the story in a professional way. But the rest of the press was so distraught. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.